Okay dolls, let's get started. First I'm gonna prime my eye and I'm making sure to prime my brows too, like usual. And then I'm just gonna start filling in um, the shape of the brow that I want, which is uh, sort of messy. Um, so I'm just gonna create the shape and then I'm going to feather the front like so, creating little hairs, and then I'm just going to fill them in. Next, just taking a light concealer, I'm just going to clean up the bottom just a tad. Now I'm going to apply a white pencil all over my top and bottom lid and blend that out with my finger. Now taking a lime green shadow, I'm just going to put that all in my crease and blend it up. And then taking a white shadow, I'm going to place that in the inner third of my eye and blend it in now taking a more of a minty sort of green eyeshadow i'm just going to place that on my lid and also on my bottom lid as well blending that into the white shadow now taking some more of that lime green color i'm just going to blend that color out and blend out the bottom as well now placing a champagne color on my brow bone and also a nude color on the sides. I didn't want the champagne color going all across my brow. Um, next taking a white pencil, I'm just going to place that on my waterline and then set that with a white eyeshadow and move on to my eyeliner. Um, my eyeliner is fairly simple so I didn't go too crazy with it. Now I'm just going to pop on these lashes and when the glue is dry, I am going to reline my eyeliner just to take away the shine from the glue. And then I'm going to put on my mascara on the top and bottom lashes. And I'm just going to pick off the extra length that it put on my lashes because I really don't like that. Now I'm just going to apply my primer and then move on to putting on my tinted moisturizer. And then I'm going to blend that all out using my damp um, sponge. Now I'm just going to highlight and conceal any imperfections and then blend that out with my sponge as well. Now I'm just going to put on a little bit of highlighter on top of that concealer. I've been doing this technique um, lately. I just like the effect that it gives. And then I'm just going to set all that concealer with my loose transparent powder. And I'm not even going to let this bake at all. So once I put it on, I'm just going to dust it all off. And then I'm going to use whatever powder is left over on the sponge just to set the rest of my face. Now I'm just going to contour up my face a little bit. Next, I'm going to put some blush on just to give my face um, some color back. And I'm just going to take um, that powder brush and just blend out the blush. Now I'm going to highlight some more. Now I'm just drawing on freckles, so I'm just using a brown um, eye pencil for that, making sure to bring it all the way across my nose to the other side and also a little bit um, between my brows as well. I do have natural freckles, but when I put all my makeup on, you can't see them anymore. So um, Now I'm just taking my powder brush and just setting all of those freckles. Now just taking a natural lip pencil, I'm just going to line and fill my lips and then I'm going to use a nude sort of pinky lip lipstick on top of that. And 
And then I wanted a little bit of gloss, so I just chose a pinky gloss and put it on the center of my top and bottom lip. Now I'm just going to set everything and then let my hair down. And now I'm just going to put on my flower halo. I did make this. There's plenty of videos here on YouTube on how to make a flower halo. And you have yourself a flower child Halloween costume. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye dolls.